Hey, Amanda here, and today I'll be talking about prostitution. I want to mostly talk about the politics, but I'll definitely touch on the morals because, I mean, according to the U.S., our laws go hand in hand with morals, and that's a totally separate issue, and that could be very controversial because everyone's morals are different. Yada yada. Well, I guess we'll save that for another discussion, huh, CJ? Alright, well, I have done a little bit of research prior to this video, and I just found out, I mean, I knew that legalization of prostitution took place in Las Vegas, obviously in Nevada, but I didn't know that that was a statewide thing, so Nevada, the state, per se, legalized prostitution, and there are a couple of brothel blah, 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 brothels, which in most simple terms is just a whorehouse. So there are, I don't know how many, but there are a few in Nevada, and apparently it is illegal to partake in any kind of prostitution activity outside of those brothels. So I, I'm sitting here and I'm like, really? Okay, so let's back it up. Why don't we legalize prostitution? I mean, everyone knows about, you know, how in Europe things like um, the lower drinking ages are okay and weed is okay in certain countries and prostitution is okay. And everyone seems to be happy, go lucky, and economy's booming, more or less. But it's immoral. Oh, let's stop right there. It's immoral. Right, right. so it's immoral, but the U.S. is going to harbor a place called Sin City, as it is known all over the world. Sin City, we're going to build an empire on this, an empire that is on booze, gambling, and prostitution. Right, so our morals really matter that much. Meanwhile, we're taking in millions of dollars off of Sin City, these prostitutes and everything else. Oh, we really got it going on. So I'm sure that our morals really, really mean a lot to the U.S. government, or even to Nevada, nevertheless. So I think that the excuse should just be out, because I think that that makes the U.S. look just completely hypocritical. I don't know why anyone wants to look like that. Oh, okay, U.S., your prostitution is really going to harm your view on how things should be taken morally, but then look at what happens. You're going to have Sin City, and you're going to make mucho moolah off of that. Gotcha. I think that that's just, again, completely hypocritical. I think that that just looks just pathetic and confusing to other people. Like, oh, so, of course, your morals have exceptions. I think if your morals are that strong, there just is no exception. Number two. So, prostitution. That's never a lifestyle I'm going to encourage simply because it's, you know, inevitable that there are just bad people out there and, you know, women are definitely at risk for bitty, for getting sexually abused. You know, impregnated, I can go on and on. Diseases, you know, again, I'll go, I could go on and on. There are plenty of negative consequences or potential consequences to becoming a prostitute and making that your career, your career, whatever word you want to use, your occupation, your job, your thing, right? So, again, that's for that reason, I wouldn't encourage a lifestyle like that, but... I, it's, I'm going to use that argument where it's like if someone wants to do something with their body, and even male prostitutes, like if they want to do with their bodies what they're doing, why stop them? It's not harming anyone else. And yeah, they're setting themselves up for harm, but you don't need to be a rocket scientist to know what you'd be getting yourself into if you're going to wind up a prostitute. Number three, I'm going to kind of expand on number two though, but say we did legalize prostitution. First of all, jobs, and I'm not just talking prostitutes. Think of the people, you know, they're pimps, I guess. I don't know if there's a euphemism for that term, pimp, but I mean, you have people who are going to obviously be running the brothels and everything and managing them. And you have people like, you know, the FDA for foods and drugs and all that stuff. We could have like a prostitute FDA, you know, like FDA prostitute edition. So we can have all these people who can come and inspect, you know, yearly or monthly or however often Lee, um, <laughs> they would use this adverb, um, however, however often they would like just to check and make sure things are running smoothly, the bang, jobs and more money, and maybe we can use that right now. We're only trillions of dollars in debt. Not so good. So, if prostitution were legalized, it'd be something that would probably be, no, wait, not even probably, it would be more closely watched. I know that the brothels in Nevada, like, they're very strictly run. And obviously that's a good thing, so that there are um, many less chances, much less, 
there are less chances of people being hurt or abused or sued or anything else. Um, and then, I'm trying to think of where I was going with that. I hate when I do that. Um, so, okay, that's basically the point, is that if prostitution were legalized, it would be done, you could say, properly. And again, if somebody wants to do that with their bodies, I don't see why that would be a problem. Again, I wouldn't encourage that, but if that's what women want to do with themselves, or if that's what men want to do with themselves, I don't see why they shouldn't be allowed to do that, especially if it's going to, you know, if that's, if that's what they can get to survive, and the economy will be much better, and people can stop getting obese and jacking off the porn, they can do the real thing if they're lonely. I'm going to read a quote that I read um, that a columnist by the name of Bob Herbert, Herbert, he's a New York Times writer, and he writes, a grotesque exercise in the dehumanization of women is carried out routinely at the Sherry's Ranch, that's a brothel in Nevada, a legal brothel about an hour's ride outside of Vegas. Answer me, I answered that. The, the women have to respond like Pavlov's dog to an electronic bell that might ring at any hour of the day or night. At the sound of the bell, the prostitutes have five minutes to get to an assembly area where they line up virtually naked and submit to a humiliating inspection of any prospective customer who has happened to drop by. Fine! Like, I don't see why that should be a problem to this columnist. It, it's dehumanizing maybe to you. Mr. Bob Herbert, but if a woman wants to sell herself, essentially, sell her sexual abilities or attributes, you know, her little apparatus you got going on, I don't, they're, fine. Maybe you think that that's sad, but that doesn't mean that you should necessarily legalize it, especially if it's something that, you know, is accessible, and if brought to light, will be done in a more decent manner. I think, if anything, prostitution shouldn't be like slavery like it is right now. Sometimes people see, you know, illegal prostitution as dangerous and dirty and disgusting. You know what it is? You want to know why? It's because they're not managed properly and they're running on little money because it's illegal and they're just overall sketchy. And sketchy's never good, especially in legal terms. So I don't see, especially like we like legal prostitutes. I'm not going to say are everywhere, that's just an exaggeration, but they exist, and it doesn't take a genius to know that either. So I don't see why people can just be like, you know what, people are going to do it anyway, we might as well bring it to light so that we can create more jobs, and things can done, things can be done a bit more cleanly. Um, in general, um, I don't think prostitution is wrong. Would Could you ever pay me to have sex with some stranger and, you know, risk myself for A, B, C, or D, or whatever? No, you couldn't convince me to do that, but um, I don't necessarily look down on the person that wants to do that. I don't see why that makes them any less of a human being. I would like to hear how that would make them less of a human being if they prostitute themselves. I'm not sure if prostitute is a verb, right? It is now. If they prostitute themselves. If they sell themselves, you know, fine. I mean, I just, I, I don't think I have anything more to say. I, again, I... I don't as I, I I feel like there are healthier decisions you could make for yourself. Obviously, and I would encourage that before I'd be like, yeah, go be a prostitute. But like, again, if that's what someone wants to do with themselves, please don't do it illegally. Don't do it under the table. Don't get yourself hurt. I mean, again, of course, there is a chance. Of course, there. But that's there's a chance that you're gonna take with anything that you do, even stepping outside or taking a chance. You know what I'm saying? So just drop that excuse because that can happen you know bad things can happen anytime anywhere uh, so that's about all I have to say about prostitution but for the reasons I just laid down for you I think that it should just be legalized already alright gonna go have sex for money bye